okay guys uh, welcome to Leo's Tech channel if you're new here welcome and I'm so happy to see you all once again today I'm going to talk and uh, dive into uh, FTP server I'm using uh, FileZilla and meanwhile I have a FTP server which I have installed inside server Windows Server 2022 the most recent uh, server so let's dive into this one probably you are mostly a step ahead and maybe you're already here so what gonna happen in here what I'm trying to uh, access um, my FTP server uh, even though I know the password uh, even though I know the password for some reason see if you go if you look at in here a t a TLS connection established user Elias tech is like good the password is also awesome so for some reason uh, it's a critical error cannot connect to the server remember that once they once uh, you once it accept you as user your username what does it mean means the authentication portion is done that's why uh, one of the important topic that you have to get ready to know is triple a authentication authorization accounting that's why it really helped me when I get in here when I encountered this issue and I was like okay so it's not with the authentication means I am inside my file server so here's let's a cross check so this is how you can troubleshoot your FTP server as well so I have already installed FTP server if you guys not so it required to install IS server first and then you have to install FTP server let's 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 cross check some of uh, my student they say it's uh, if you don't mind uh, do one thing make sure that FTP server uh, turn off the FTP server I, this is what I'm doing right now so remember this error in here so it's only that uh, critical error could not connect to server let me turn off my FTP server in here that is off now let's uh, uh, reconnect I'm type password if you look at in here disconnect from server connection so now it is totally different error what does it mean means my username was recognized my password was recognized FTP was established there wasn't any issue with a firewall remember that here's the thing here's the thing it's good to uh, come up in my mind uh, if you come to firewall I turn off everything from the client side even I turn off the user side here it did the server side as well if you come to firewall I turn off these two so these two are it's off it's if you have done any like other remove port 21 or 22 for secure shield and so on so that's not the case okay so for what could be the issue what could be the issue so now let me turn on the server once again restart the server FTP server to make sure that I am in the right track let's let's reconnect so in here if you look at here again it prompts me the same issue let me type ABC um, and one two three four all right so it still is, it gives you an error top of that sometime you should keep in your mind it's a multi things that you have to do manual if it gives me an error if I type wrong password two three time manual and you have to make sure that the account is not locked as well so how I how we can resolve the critical error could not connect to the server while we are using FileZilla as a client and our server is uh, uh, what Windows Server 2022 okay so uh, so all we found that there isn't an issue with authentication I'm so happy what I have done in authentication portion basic authentication should be basic authentication I never picked this one because I don't want anyone to make it a little bit secure authorization this is the super section so uh, in here what I have chosen that I have um, let me edit the future uh, okay you don't have to do this one uh, double click in here what I'm going to do is I will say all the users all the users anyway say hey it's not secure no worry about that because if uh, here's the thing here's the thing here's the portion for my file server just give me one second uh, all right and C drive when you come to C drive uh, from security standpoint I just want to clear for you guys as well so if you come in here a few uh, here's the FTP FTP route if you right click in here so I mean if you come to here you cannot find all the users it's not all the users in here it's, it's only read write execute even I can remove this one as well so the main purpose is to secure the folder for the access 
remember that this is this is the most important things so if you are using a uh, passive mode that's also fine even if, if you use active mode my uh, active mode my session is to pick all user doesn't matter read and write pick all user click ok all, all right so what we're gonna do is in here is click refresh remember that I told you that the, 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 the folder the, the, the destination address folder is very important we have to restrict that portion in here if anyone want to attempt so of course we have a audit lock we can we can find out who has uh, or we have tried to log into my FTP server let's try once again and see what gonna happen all right this guy is asking me for username and password ABC at one two three four give me access guys surprise this is how you can resolve the issue do not do any magic no no you didn't have to call any your majesty to re resolve the issue this is how we can solve the problem okay let me come to here and i just want to make sure that this folder exists and this file is exists in my ftp server because i'm curious you know if you work in it department you're always curious is it mine is this is this mine okay hello ftp server file hello ftp server file that is yes there you go okay okay guys this is how you can troubleshoot your ftp server if it gives any uh, it, this is how you can troubleshoot your ftp client side now the server of course we have done something on the server side as well anyway uh, if you think it was very helpful and you think it was um, very help your task i know it's hard you know we are working in many departments in different company different organizations sometimes too many tasks coming is like hammer and we need to uh, hit the nail on it you know anyway okay the only way to appreciate of course subscribe or share and like and it's optional Anyway, until next time, I say safe, be brave, and of course, see you guys next time.